Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and as soon as we load in we're gonna switch to one of the main missions. I've been grinding side stuff on my own, so... No worries, you didn't miss anything important. I don't want to have to teleport straight to CIT. God, it's always so funky.
gonna teleport straight to where the fucking thing is. up really bad whenever you get to the parts that are like in the middle of the city and shit. <coughs>
now on the third floor. Report to the second
Put your hands up. You're gonna do what I say. I'm done with you. Get over here. Don't make me pull the trigger. You, we can do this the easy way? Get over here. Get over here. You, here, now. He... he deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. I promise not to hurt you. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? The guard put the password in a toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. Poor Catherine. And I'll That's it. Do that. Hi. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a course, I just didn't think he'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or... I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again. Under better circumstances. I hope we do. Don't. 
Dr. Amari. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Courser chip. A Courser chip? You fought a Courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Courser. I don't know what that chip does. Let's see if I could it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Thanks, Doc. How do I find them? I can't contact them directly. They usually come to me when they have a synth that's escaped the Institute and wants new memories. But I do have a code phrase. Some kind of clue if I ever needed to find them on my own. Follow the Freedom Trail. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Sims' only friends. We're the real So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser chip. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon. You're late. 
You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? Oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murder. Just a little. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. You, you institute bastard, I got you! Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet face now. Come on, man. Then we got it! We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Bolte!
<clears throat> Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. Oh, From memory, beer. things I've overheard through the Come years. Here, came up with second. some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic up. frequencies. <clears throat> I've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you.
Give them time to actually come back here. I hope they come back here. Inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? That's a bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. So don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tells of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Ah, uh, you uh, really follow up every sense with that part, don't you? Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation? This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it. It's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is gonna take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available.
How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Hi. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? 
Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, th this holotate's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. You don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Okay, I'm gonna close the chat. Got it! Hold on to your butt! Wish I had a chat bot. Oh my god. Imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Oh my god. It's 
truly you. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. Together. Okay, Sean? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... The situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking Talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, 
After discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother... She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say? To ease your mind. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg? He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach Sorry, I'm trying to I've been a part of something fucking... amazing here. Meh. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. 
And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Most of them have lasted long enough. 
will start the next try. The dose of Hey, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes.
got it. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. And after that... I know what I'm about to do when I see as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. I have a plan, and if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Ugh, I'm a 
but with a capital O. Oh. Oh. She's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Please don't. There's Pardon enough friction me, as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. Doctor, you going soft on me, Alana? So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths, that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into our hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered them already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production line. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well.
now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives.
Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. All right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. The Institute isn't our enemy, remember. I know. But it never hurts to be prepared. Just in case they decide the Commonwealth isn't big enough for the both of us. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? It's that right here. That's it! That's really it! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter-intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands are formed. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. All right. Here we go. And now, we wait. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. That's more than enough for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.